So all you kiddos who are stuck at home because of COVID-19, I'm here to do some videos with you about free apps that you can download on your Android and iOS Apple phones. So here I uh, have my computer screen being recorded, but I have my phone screen right here. So if I start to move my finger around on it, boom, look at that. You can see all of these sweet apps. Now, I'm gonna go back to this one, and the reason I have my uh, computer screen recording is because I can point things out with my mouse to make it a little more obvious what I'm talking about, or I can click on it and get those sweet little animations. Play Store, Play Store, Play Store. Awesome. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is the Processing IDE Creative Coding app. So yeah, processing is something I've done tutorials on before, but there's actually an app you can download and you can directly make apps for your Android phone from it. I'll be doing everything on Android and that's kind of the referencing I'll be doing, but there is an iOS version for this. Here, I'll insert a screenshot. Now I'm gonna do that later, so hopefully it shows up. All right, so let's take a look now at the processing app. First, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do two videos on this. The first one is going to give an overview of downloading it and what it is and how you can mess with it. And the second one, we're gonna actually build a drawing program similar to the one that I build in my creative coding uh, tutorials. So let's go ahead into Play Store right here. Boom, I hit the Play Store app and it opens it up. And I'm gonna type in the top here, processing, P R O. C-E-S-S-I-N-G, processing. Now you'll see right here, processing, Android processing IDE. I'm actually gonna hit the search button down here so it actually brings us up to it. So processing ADE right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click that install button and it's gonna download and install it. So this is a free app. It can work on mobile phones and it's super rad-tastic. All right, it's installing, and when it installs, we'll go and open it up. Now, you're gonna have to give it permissions. Um, permissions like that it can access your camera or things like that. There's a few weird things that happen, but it's pretty super duper completely easy to use. Um, if you wanna learn a little bit about creative coding, go ahead and watch some tutorials on it. I'll put a link in to the other ones that I do, but it's pretty simple and it's wonderful, and it's pretty easy to do on here. All right, let's let it install and we'll get back to this. Oh, there we go, it's installed. Um, instead of, you can click open now or I'm gonna go back to my home screen and see right there, processing A D A P D E has popped up and I'm just gonna drag this over to the other window. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this so I can get it to be the only thing. Look at that cute little guy right there. So let's go ahead and click on that bad boy, open it up and it's gonna ask for permissions. It wants to be able to access my photos and media and all that jazz. I'll hit allow. Um, it has some things about the new changes. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that this is checkmarked right here, this checkmark, and I'll click okay. So it gives this thing to say like, update is available for examples repository. Yes, let's click update. There we go. And so it's gonna update examples down here, but in the meantime, Oh, there we go! Examples have been updated. It's pretty quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little hamburger menu up top here. Boom. And there's some things here. There's the sketches folder, which will right now be empty. If you wanna get back to the previous menu, you see this little two dots right here. You can click on those. Um, and there we go. And there's a few different things like examples, library examples, temporary and recent. Let's go ahead and look at examples. So there's examples here that will show us the basics. There's demos, there's things we can do, sensors, topics. There's a bunch of different cool stuff in here. I just clicked on demos. Go ahead and click on that with me. And you'll see that there's a bunch of interesting stuff in here. Lights, math, objects, shape, structure. Let's go ahead and click input. This one right there. If I click on input, this will give me some options for different things that we can input. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the mouse press right here. A mouse press on your Android phone is the same thing as a touch. It uses the same code. So let's go ahead and click on mouse press and it's gonna give us this example code that we can run. And it says on here, click, move the mouse to, a position, to position the shape, press the mouse button to invert the color. So it looks that like when we press the mouse, something will happen. Um, so we can go ahead and try to hit play. 
up here, this is the run the sketch. So this is what the creative coding looks like. We have void setup, void draw. When we try to hit the play, you're gonna get this thing that says we can install sketch previewer APK. We can do that once to actually look at stuff. So I'm gonna hit install on here. Boom. So for security reasons, our phone is set to block installations of apps obtained from unknown sources. Now, I'm interjecting this with a different phone than I was just using, and you'll see this again. And so we're going to go over this a couple times, but we need to make it so our phone allows us to actually install an app from something that isn't the Google Play Store. So we can just click on the settings right here. I'm going to do that. Settings. And this is gonna bring us to our, our screen and security settings. And you'll see right here, boom, there's this unknown sources. Well, it will, uh, by turning this on, clicking on that, it's gonna give this, um, allow this installation only. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna hit okay. Just hitting the okay. And now I can install this actual app. So now that I hit install, let's just um, go ahead and do that. And that will make it so we can install any app we export. You'll notice that I go over this again later, but um, it'll be great. So this is a little app that, get, that it gives us so we can preview our sketches that we make. We're gonna have to give this access, allow. This lets us preview our sketches without having to actually make them into an app itself. Now, this is gonna take a second to install based on our internet speed. So let's just give it a minute to install and then we'll jump back into this. Sweet, it has installed. So now it's gonna launch this thing. So once it installs, it launches and I can go ahead and you see in this middle here, I'm actually pressing and making this thing. Now it's a bit small in the center and that's because it's the size is really, really small. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the back button on here to go back to the previous screen. So the reason it's so small is because the size is at 200 by 200 right here where it says size. So that is the size of the sketch. Sometimes I have some trouble actually uh, editing a, a pr editing something that is from the, um, boop, 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 from the examples. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna look at a few different examples and just check them out for a little bit. Um, let's try, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go back to my examples. I'm gonna click those double little dots right there. I just click those. There's a few other things we can look at. Let's look at shape. Um, let's say scale shape. Now this gives us a little bit of description. I'm gonna go ahead, so I click shape, scale shape. I'll click this up here, this play, and that will run the sketch and it's gonna build it, package it, do its thing, and you'll see that when I, right now I'm touching with my fingers and moving my fingers across the screen. So right now I'm touching at the way left. Let's say I'm touching right here with my finger and I'm moving it over here. And when I do this with my finger, it's scaling these shapes up. It's pretty cool. It's super duper rad. All right, I'm gonna hit the back button right here. Boom, back. And we're gonna look at one more example and how it works. And then we are going to um, actually export it to an app, and in the next video, we'll look at how to make our own. So you can see that all the code is here of how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this hamburger menu up here to the top left, boom. I'm gonna hit this little double dot, boom. And we're gonna hit it one more time, boom. And let's go ahead and look at the CalSign Labs. So we're gonna look at an example called Sparks. Let's click on Sparks, and this is a pretty complex one. As you can see, it's a, it's a bit much, and they have a whole other class here. Wow, that's a lot, y'all. So I'm gonna go back to the Sparks, and let's go ahead and just hit the Run button, boom, right there, to actually mess with this. Now, you'll be able to hear it kind of vibrate on my, um, here we go, there it is. You're gonna be able to hear it vibrate when I touch it. So when I touch, it vibrates a little bit. Listen closely. Yeah, it's vibrating. So it's actually using the phone's vibration. And every time I touch it, it's making a new one of these little wiggly squiggly sparks. Look at all this. And I can make a bunch every time I touch it. New wiggly squiggly spark. Oh, there's so many wiggly squiggly sparks. There's so very many. And it's totally cool. I love it. I love it. It's the greatest thing in the world. All right. <laughs> I'm going to hit the back button right now. 
And I want to actually save this as an app on my phone because it's so pleasing and so radtastic. So what we need to do is change out from preview mode. Right here we're in preview mode where these double arrows are. Let's go ahead and click on that. And there's a mode here for app. We'll click on that. This will allow us to save this as an app on our phone. Yes! So when we hit play, it's going to actually start to compile it as an app but we're gonna have a little bit of a problem when it comes to installing the app. We're actually gonna to have to do a setting to allow it. So wait a second, you'll see, boom, install blocked. What, no, why? Well, don't worry, we just have to allow our phone to install from unknown sources, but we know this source, it's us, no big deal. So the settings button that pops up, click on that, and it's gonna bring us to our security settings. Now, if it didn't bring you to this menu, I'm gonna hit the home button, and if you'll see, I'm gonna just kind of drag down from the top of my screen. So I'm clicking here and dragging down, click and drag down, and I'm gonna do that a second time, click and drag down, and this gives me my settings options up here, this little menu there. I'm gonna click on that, it'll bring up my settings. I just scroll up, up, up until I see security. Boom, click on security, and I scroll until I see right here, unknown sources. We need to turn this from off to on. Now it's gonna say your phone and data are a little more vulnerable. It's okay, we're okay. We're only installing sources that we know and that is um, other than the Play Store. So unknown sources, blocking them, says anything that's not from the Google Play Store we can't install. But now we're good. Let's hit the back button a couple times. I'm gonna go ahead and hit back on my uh, processing thing and Sparks is still open. So now I can hit this run button to compile it because I have it set up to my phone app. And let's do that. And you'll see now it's gonna give us the option to install. Give it a minute. Boop, 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 doop, boop, boop. Skip it a bop, bop, ba, da. Yeah, there it is. So now we click install. And once it installs, it's gonna automatically open the app. And you'll notice that the app runs a little smoother than the preview does. So it's installing our Sparks app. And it opens the screen. And now, yeah, it's actually running smoother and faster and nicer. I love it! So if I hit this button right here, it's gonna pop up all my apps that I have open, like Sparks, and I can just hit the X on that. And, oh, look at that, it says, okay, there we go. I'm gonna hit this middle button right here to go to my home screen. I want it on my home screen so bad because it's a super sick, totally rad app. So I'm gonna click on this like little icon here. It might look a little different on your phone, but once it pops up, I can kind of go down until I see Sparks right there, Sparks. Now all the apps that we make with processing will have this little kind of green play button logo. I'm gonna click and hold on it for a sec and just drop it on that home screen there. So when I click on this app, it opens and boop boop. I'm able to play with it, it's super cool. So there's a lot that you can look up and you can kind of learn from looking at the examples and that's a great place to do a lot of your learning for this stuff. So I highly recommend it. So in the next video, we're gonna actually do some coding on this platform, on this mobile app and we're gonna make our own little drawing app. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Spark, spark, spark. Somebody sparks!